Hmm, get a tragic here and welcome back to Arkham Horror. And yeah, let's get straight into this. There was a little mistake last turn. I actually placed a Grug here. And I th there's a gate there, so he doesn't actually go there. Can't really remember where he's supposed to go, so I'm just going to put him over here at the Palatu of Lang because uh, of the gate burst. Okay, so let's get straight into this. We are... Jenny is the first player. Yeah, blammo. And we need massive monster cleanup. We are actually at the monster limit. So if there's another surge, we basically... Uh, we basically lose... We'll, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so if we have an eight monster surge, we, at the moment, we'll lose the game. So we need to do monster cleanup is the priority today. Now, unfortunately, our two biggest hitters, Jenny and the Professor, are trapped. There's We can't get to these monsters here because there's a monster here. We have to, we'll have to kill this monster and then kill this. And these guys are all overwhelming physical resistance and magical immunity, which is the hard one. Anyway, it's Jenny's turn and Jenny is in here and she's just going to fight this person. I mean... She, she could do a, a, a test, you know, like a, a sneak test to get out of there. But I think instead we're just going to just straight up kill this person here. Uh, it's a high priest. Yablamo. Magical immunity. We will not cease our struggle in tone the road figure until we have built Corsica upon this land of ruined reason. Okay, it's not very scary. So we have a will plus one and we are blessed. So let's uh, roll that sucker. That's, uh, what are we, will two? Yeah, so three die. Now, this guy is two to kill, and he's a minus two, and he's magically immune, which means we can't use our blade. So we can only use our automatic, which is four dice, plus we have four from our fight. One, two, three, four. Plus we have negative two here so that's one two what i'm going to do is i might do the same thing i did with my boards just so i can hover over these things and just pop up the 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 value anyway whatever so what am i at that's six right so it's four plus eight plus minus two is six we need two hits and we've got no re-rolls but we are blessed, which is a good thing. Oh, ba-bam. We shoot him multiple times in the face. And that's one, two, three, four, five. That's another blessing ready to go. Okay, Amanda. She is over here by herself. Now, she has no weapons, no nothing, really. What has she got? She's got a warding statue. Oh, she's got a Tommy gun. Beautiful. Six to combat check. She's got a combat re-roll. Plus she's got a plus will. And she's got a warding statue. So she's actually pretty decent here. Now the thing is, if she moves in here, the thing is when you're moving, right, you can trade during your movement. So I'm pretty sure I can move into, I can move in here and do a trade and then fight the monsters. I don't think I need to do it in one go. That was going to free up all this stuff. Uh, food of the Outer Gods, leave that gate box. Yeah, I think she's just going to take the gate box. And that's pretty much all she wants anyway. Okay, so she needs, she goes one. Now, these guys don't have much uh, sanity. It's negative on each, so we don't really need will because there's no will check. So we're going to go one, two, because she's got three focus, which is awesome. So the maniac gets buffed at level six. We are only at level four, so that's fine. So it is four combat plus another six from the Tommy gun. That gives us 10 plus one from the modifier. We need one hit. Uh, 
Okay, so he is machine gunned to death pretty easily. Now we have this bloke. Now he is a cultist. Cultists are increased. They have magical immunity and a combat rating of minus one. So again, we are 10 minus one. We're actually nine die and we only need one thing. We are using the Tommy gun, of course, which is physical. So we only need one hit. This should also be an easy kill. Bayam, Balamo, another dead monster. Okay, now we have Caroline. Caroline is the roadhouse. Now she actually has eight clues to her name. One, two, three, four, five. We want five movement. We actually have the motorcycle, so we can do this. Let's go one up here. She's going to go one, two, three, four, five, uh, five and go through this gate here. We've still got one more movement we can do. Now, while we're, she's here, she's going to tr she's got all these people she can trade with, and uh, that is what we're going to do. So what, what have we got these monsters? Remember, this is all open information. Two damage. Two damage. Yeah, so she's actually not in a great position here. She's going to take the fine gate and she'll take the gate box. What has she got? She's got uh, will minus one. So if it's two sanity loss, she can take that. So she's going to put that up. She also gets plus one sanity from her ability. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take Wither. Well, these are all two-handed weapons. Yeah, so I'm going to take Wither and I'm going to take the Tommy gun. And I'm going to return, give her the shotgun and I'll keep the Sword of Glory. Uh, does anyone have a one-handed sword that she can take? I know that Jenny does, but I'm going to leave that with her. Okay, whatever. So that's the trading she's going to do. And now she's going to fight these monsters. So we have a Baku key. Now these guys, if you look... Okay, so we've already read the Baku key text, so let's just get into it. It's minus one. She's at a will of one. So that gives her four, six. There's no point in her taking with her actually. Where did this come from? It came from up here. Yeah, so she can either do six combat with that or six combat with that. Oh, Voice of Ra. Yeah, let's do Voice of Ra before, during her upkeep. So, we'll keep her fight was down here. So, I'll actually use her one to go there. Okay, so what happened is with the speed at the beginning, we went one, and then we went fight back one. And then we're going to do Voice of Ra, which is a minus one to sanity. And then we roll modify minus one, which is four dice. And hopefully this will give us a success. Oh, I'm going to use Mandy's ability to re-roll that. Come on. Nice. Okay. So now we're plus one. Okay. So now during the will check, we're actually three plus one from Voice of Ra. So we're four minus one. That's three dice. Come on. Ooh, beautiful. So we pass that. Now it's the combat. So our combat is two plus six is eight. And you blam. We need one hit. 
easy. So it's dead. And now we have this one. So if you fail the combat versus the Night Gaunt, you're drawn through a gate, which is fine because we actually want to go through this gate anyway. So that is negative two, which means we have six dice for two hits, which is actually harder than I might. I shouldn't have used my reroll. Oh, but we have plus one, don't we? So it's one, two, seven, eight, nine, because you've got Voice of Ra. So that's three plus six. So we're actually at nine. I rolled one, two, a few dice last turn. And then we have uh, rolling for eight. I hate, sometimes I accidentally right click and I rotate the thing that annoys me. I like it to be nice and straight. <laughs> okay, so we're actually nine die minus two. So we're seven die for two hits. Come on, come on, easy, bam. And that's another dead monster. Okay, Mandy Thompson, where's Mandy? Mandy's here, now Mandy has not much on her. I want to get her, I want to get her to the curiosity shop. There's only six cards left, so we should be able to dig out that last elder sign any really quickly. Oh, I'm talking about elder signs. That actually is supposed to go into the game box, not into the discard pile. Hmm, what am I going to do with her? If only I only had one more movement. So who's in here? Jenny? She doesn't. She she doesn't have a motorcycle anymore. Oh, that's right. I gave the motorcycle to Vincent so he could do the thing. So what am I going to do with Jenny? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I don't know. What. She's going to go one, two, three, four down to the administrative building. She's got four movement, and I think she's going to put her. I think she might just keep everything where she is. And while she's there, she's going to trade that twenty dollars to Jenny, who also should have gotten plus one when she start did her turn for her upkeep. Okay, now it is this girl's turn. Where is she at? We're going to cast All oh, right, so she just comes back to town and she's at Plateau of Lang. So she's just going to come straight back to here with a explored gate token. I want to get rid of this one. Bam. And during her upkeep, now, when you're closing gates, you have to make a law or a fight check. Now, her law is four, plus she's blessed. So she is definitely going to voice of Ra. So that's minus one sanity. And she gets to roll three blessed dice. And that should give her plus one. Beautiful. So she is now plus one for the for the, the check to close the gate. Now we have Dexter. Dexter is all the way up here. What's his plan? He no longer has. Well, he's he's done all his. No, he's done everything. What have we got up here? Four clues. Mr. Valia. Yeah. So I think he's going to nick this thing. Nick the King in Yellow tome exhaust and spend two movements so i've been discarding the king in yellow but it's actually exhaust i've got to pay more attention to that some tomes get discarded some tomes you know like the idea is you read it you learn something you're done with it but you can actually keep reading this so i'm going to exhaust into a law minus two and lose one sanity you only discard if you fail so i lose a sanity i do a law minus two which is three dice I only, I only lose the sanity if I pass, which I do. And I get four clues. One, two, three, four. So I can just do this every turn until I've got enough to seal a gate. I'm going to leave him there so he can get his sanity back. Meanwhile, Vincent, he's got the motorcycle. He's going to go one, 
two, three, four, five. Uh, he's going to go one, two, three, four, and fight this guy. Now, cultists have magical immunity, by the way. So he's got the motorcycle. Yeah, so that's one, two, three, four. That's the movement. He's just going to put his fight up by two. And he is, while he's passing Jenny, he's just going to borrow her, her automatic. And let's clear this guy off the board as well. So there's no horror check. He is plus one, but remember he's minus one because of Yogi. And he's got magical immunity. So no horror check. He has a fight of three. He's using the automatic, which is another plus four. One, two, three, four. He's negative one. And this is physical, remember, so it's fine. And then we just roll. We need one success. We've used Mandy's ability. And done. You blammo, the doctor gets some action. Oh, he's actually killed two, people, two things already. Okay, so we cleared off quite a number of things from the board. Uh, oh, wait, I still haven't done this bloke. All right, and he can go clear all these. What, he's got four clues. Yeah, okay. So what are we doing here? We've got one, two, three, four seals, basically. We only need six to win. So the thing is, if I send, if I send the professor into here, he'll be able to clear these monsters most likely. But it also means that he'll get sucked through this gate. Now we do have a grug, a dark one, and a warlock. So I don't think I think uh, what's he got? Three, four. One, two, three, four. He's on a three movement. Oh, he's got plus one sneak. One, two, three. Oh no, I do it this way. So he's gonna go one, two, three, four to the administration building. Now, this guy only went one, two. So he hasn't used his motorcycle. So we're gonna take the motorcycle and tap it and that'll give us the movement we need so it's one two three four into this thing and while we're here we're just going to go past jenny and take one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen money leaves her with five we'll give oh uh, We'll give uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we'll give her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we should have eight on each of them. Oh, she's got nine, so let's just give that back. Okay, so to recap, what he did is he went one, took the money, two, took the motorbike, three and activated the motorbike and went over here so he actually had plus one uh he actually had plus one uh movement doesn't matter and then what so he took the money from here took the motorbike from here and when she got to here with jenny uh a little bit of a physics screw up there he took uh, he gave he gave eight of the dollars to to mandy Okay, and that's that. Now let's do our uh, activities. So Jenny is in the streets. Amanda is in the streets because we've basically done monster hunting. Uh, Caroline gets sucked through to the plateau of Lang. Now, what's interesting is what's this thing? So there's two plateaus of Lang. Okay, that's fine. Now Mandy is at the administration building. So instead of paying an encounter, you may pay $8 and draw two skills. So we'll take that eight bucks. 
Draw two skills. And pick one. Uh, plus one law. Any phase reroll a spell check. Neither of these are really good for her. If only the doctor got them. They're perfect for the doctor, both those spells. Okay, I think I'll take... I think I'll actually take the plus one law. Okay, Gloria is actually going to do a trick here. So she's going to seal this gate using her clues. So she's got six clues. We've used Mandy's ability. We are plus one from Ra, and we have a law of four. So I actually have five dice. Now, the thing is, Yogg's ability says, while Yogg Sotho stirs in the slumber, the difficulty to close or seal a gate increases by one. So the point is, what does key in the gate mean? I thought that that meant that the difficulty modifier was increased. So this would be negative two. But a guy on the YouTube comments was saying that it means you need extra successes. So instead of one success to win, you need two. So I'm going to play it that way. So it's minus one die. Gives us four dice. We need two successes. And Mandy's ability has already been done. You blammo. Come on. Two successes. We should get this. Oh! <laughs> Absolute winner boom okay that is a diamond so do we have any diamonds nope uh, no diamonds on the table at all and we have sealed the black gate oh, where's the seals kept over here boom Okay, so that's one, two, three, four seals. We need six to win, so we're almost, we're, all, we're doing pretty well. Now it's Dexter, he's just gonna get his sanity back. Vincent is in the streets, so that's the end of that. And Harvey is also gonna spend $8 and draw two skills, because he is at the administration building as well. Plus one speed, plus one evade. We'll take the speed because we don't need evade because he's basically one of our monster hunters using all his arcane knowledge. Oh, you know what? He also had the healing stone, which I forgot to use. So I'm going to use that to give him back a sanity. Okay, and that is the end of that round. It is now the Mythos card. Yablamo. Unbelievable. That is another black gate. So there's three black gates. Plus we've had... I think we've had two black gates in here. There's another black gate. So we... <laughs> okay, so because there is a seal, we don't get a token and we don't get a monster surge. We do do the monster movement though. So we have... The Grug moves. Uh, these are guys that got yellow borders. They just park a case. We've got a circle and a star here. Okay, we have the star move. Fire vampires coming down. Now, we have one, two, three different people in in the street. So who does he, she, he attack? I think we can choose, right? I, I just read the FAQ in that. We can choose where it goes. So I'm actually going to send the the vampire to the same spot as this grug so he can kill it in one go it's got ambush physical and that's got overwhelming genial uh okay who gets the first turn the doctor actually doctor goes first he's only got holy water he's got the mist though let me think here. Oh, whatever. Let's just get into this. That's that. That. What's next? Okay, so this is a rumor. Ongoing effect. Roll a die at the end of every Mythos phase while this card is in play, beginning with the turn after it enters play. On a one or two, increase the Terra level by one. Wow. 
If a single player discards two gate trophies during the Arkham encounter phase while the Rivertown streets, return this card to the box and each player draws a spell. If the terror level reaches 10, return this card to the box, every investigator is cursed. So this is a very harsh uh, one. Rivertown streets it is. Yeah, that's a very nasty... Uh, this could lose us the game. So who's got a gate trophy? Gloria does. Oh, and I also had to spend Gloria's six clues, of course. Gloria and Amanda both have trophies. Neither of them have clues. So we need to get them clues or get them Elder Signs ASAP. Okay, well that is the end of that turn, and I will see you guys next time.